Well, hello and <laughs> hello. Sounds like a, an informal, a formal start that shit again. G'day, guys, and uh, sound like a fucking Australian now. Eh? What a dickhead. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> fuck's sake. Welcome back, and uh, today's video is, isn't it, isn't it, this is not something new. I haven't invented anything, so I can't claim that I've invented something uh, and reinvented the wheel. Uh, but it is something that's already been out there for a long time and a period, but I've decided I'm going to do this to myself. As you saw in my previous video, I upgraded my electrics with some more Victron stuff, especially the Lynx Power In and the, um, the Servo with the Touch 17. Uh, after doing a lot more research and chatting to a lot of people and people kindly giving me some advice, I am going to upgrade my electrical system again. Uh, by adding another Lynx power in, which is this one here. However, uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to hack both of those Lynx power ins. So I'm going to show you how to do it on this new one that's just arrived. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do that. And basically, what I'm going to be converting the Lynx power in from, which is just a, a, a bus bar, 1000 amp rated bus bar, um, I'm going to convert it to a Lynx distributor, which is a bus bar but fused. So I'm going to be adding some extra components to the Lynx power in, uh, which will then allow me to use some mega fuses uh, to the to the uh, to the device itself, which then will safeguard my electrical system because it's something that um, again over time I've been thinking about it's something that I need to do, and it's just for peace of mind as well. So thank you to everybody that's taken the time to offer me the advice, even my close friends, and uh, let's get on with it. I'm also going to be later on uh, showing you how to hack the Serbo uh, with a upgrade as such, which is the GU mods or GUI mods, uh, which allows you a bit more flexibility and control over what you see and what you can look at on your Touch 70 screen. So I'll show you that as well. But the first thing what we're going to do is uh, get on with hacking our Lynx power in into a distributor. Uh, there's two screws in here, so I'm going to have to get my trusty drill to get inside and release the screws. So on here you'll see like on the, this Lynx power in, you've got the positive bus bar going across the top, which has a number of attachments, five. You have a negative bus bar which runs underneath. You have these channels which allows like a safe protection of uh, your wiring as it comes in and out. And in here, you have a number of screws uh, located around underneath here, which you need to take out, which removes this plastic housing and these and opens up the negative bus bar. And then underneath here, where you can see these holes, you have room for them to put some more of these type of attachments in. So we'll go and do that now. So what we're now left with is that. So basically here, as I said, you've got your positive and your negative bus bars. And then underneath here, you've got these four slots here, which will allow you to put another set of uh, screws and all that sort of stuff into here, which will then give you the fixings to put some mega fuses in. So what you're gonna need uh, to be able to do this is a number of little components. So you're gonna need these M8 stainless steel uh, 25 mil uh, nuts, bolts, should I say. Uh, you're gonna need some one penny, I think they're 16 mil, M8 16s, uh, washers. You're gonna need some uh, M8 nuts, all stainless steel. And I'll leave all the links in the description for all these uh, down below. So you're going to need four sets of all these to accomplish the task of converting it to a distributor. The M8 uh, bolts is add them to the four locations down here. And then what you're going to need to do is once they're in place is add your washers. 
from there. So once you've got your washers in place, like there, then you're going to need to place this over the four bolts and then re-secure that in, back in place with the four screws that you originally took out. So once you've reattached the plastic housing, you're then going to need to put your M8 washers all back on. And then you're going to need to put uh, one nut back on to each and then tighten them up all individually. This basically gives you a level mounting point. So once you put all the nuts, uh, bolts back in and put your washer and nuts on and then tighten them up, it gives you a level mounting point to allow you to attach uh, your fuse, your mega fuse to there. So what you're going to need to do is remove the nuts and the washers off the uh, positive bus bar. Once you've done that, you're then going to need to get, put, add your mega fuse to this, replace your washer split washer and your nut back to the positive bus bar and tighten you've now got a level playing field as such and then this is demonstration purposes you've then got a mounting point where you can put your washer your split washer and your nut back onto the positive connection and tighten on And again, if you repeat that the whole way down, you've then got a fused bus bar. So again, underneath the links powering through here would be your negative connection wire to the negative uh, part of the bus bar and your positives will then come all the way through along here. So all your MPPTs, your DC to DCs, your inverters, your uh, electric hookups and all that sort of stuff, your wiring for your fuse box, can all come in and be individually fused and protected uh, on your electrical system again this is nothing new this has been out there loads of times again uh, people have been offering me advice on how to improve my electrical system and I watch I've been watching Explorers Life on uh, how to do this as well and a few other channels and I'll leave their links in the descriptions below but this is the hack for converting a Lynx power in into a Lynx distributor fused so what I'm going to be doing my electrical system, this is a second Lynx power in I've got. I've got my original, which I'm going to be taking out and hacking in this manner as well. I'm going to be attaching these two together to give me an 8 to 10 uh, connection bus bar. And I'm going to individually fuse all my connection points to the bus bar as well, which will then just uh, protect my electrical system and give me a peace of mind as well. So again, if this is something you want to do, I'll leave all the description and uh, links for all the different parts that you're going to need even the drill bits and all that sort of stuff but that is how you do it and i hope that helps and i hope that you find that interesting as such and i'll show you what it's like once it's fitted as well so that's basically what it will look like uh with all the fuses in place obviously bearing in mind Underneath is going to be, like I said, your negative cable coming in and then your positive cable coming into this part of the fuses. So that allows your bus bar to then be fused and protecting your electrical system. Simple hack. So I've been busy all day and I've done no video in because I just wanted to get it smashed. However, this is what I've uh, accomplished. So my two Lynx power ins which have been converted to Lynx distributors are now in. So I've got literally about six different loads coming off uh, those distributors and they're all fused as well. So that's what I wanted. So that's protected. So I've got my isolation switch down here. My uh, DC to DC is just down here. And then 
uh, what we've got through here, my Serbo, uh, my 100 by 30 MPPT, my IP22 uh, electric hookup, and down here I've got a 100 by 20 MPPT as well. This is all wired in now um, and all been tested, so my alternator's working, so my D, uh, DC to DC is working, that's pulling in 49 amps. Uh, I'm inside at the moment, uh, so I'm not getting any solar, but what I'm going to do is go outside in a minute. I've also fitted a uh, kill switch uh, to my main solar array, and then this 100 by 20 MPPT is connected to a electric hookup point, which I've converted into a solar panel connection, and I'll show you that now. So here I have two external uh, hookup points. Um, I used to have one yesterday, which was for my electric hookup. Yesterday we fitted this. Uncle Kev kindly helped and fitted it for me. So this is a this is wired into my 100 by 20 uh, MPPT, so I can put a portable solar panel hookup from the outside into the electrical system. And then that basically means uh, I can hang a portable solar panel from the side of the van or I can angle it along the wheels. And basically that is for, um, as winter's approaching now, the sun becomes so low in the sky that the solar panels that are on the roof uh, don't yield as much solar as they normally do. Yet the 200 watt portable or 400 watt portable solar panel um, could then, or 200 watt should I say, not 400, uh, the 200 watt portable solar panel will be then angled and would just be able to yield as much solar as they can. So it's just an added bonus. So that's what we've done as well. So my all powers uh, 200 watt solar panel. This is uh, the connector that goes to the solar panel uh, and then uh, plugs in to the hookup point. So that's hooked up, 200 watt solar panel. I've got 400 watts on the roof. Uh, that means I've got 600 watts of solar and this is my portable solar panel electric hookup point. So yeah, I've been really busy with my electrics. Um, I've tidied up some of the cables as well and shortened them. Um, I was gonna do a bit more cable tidy management, but I've run out of lugs. That's my bad man management. So, but that is all in. The servo's working and so on and so on. Uh, all I need now is my new lithium battery to arrive, a 460 amp Fogstar battery at some stage. So this little device is a blue solar, not a smart solar, so I can't Bluetooth and check. So I am going to order uh, a blue a smart solar. <laughs> so this is for sale if anybody wants one. Um, yeah, that is it. So I'm getting an extra two amps at this moment in time on a dull day. Better than nothing, but it proves that all my electrical system works. The two... Links power ins being converted into distrib distributors, my two MPPTs, my electric hookup, my Victron XS DC to DC, my 3000 watt inverter. I just need a battery. Come on, Fogstar, where's my battery? There we go. Job done. And to finish it off, my uh, all powers R1500 is uh, connected via electric hookup. Give me another 30 amps. So in winter, I can recharge that while driving. When I get somewhere, I can put the portable solar panel out onto the side of the van, hook it up via the MPPT, or I can electric hook up via my oil powers or on a campsite. So that is it. So that's my electrical system almost done. Just got to replace that MPPT, as I said, but the, uh, as I said, the, the Lynx ins have been converted as Lynx distributors. So all my electrical systems are now fused and protected. Uh, the hookup point is in for the solar panel, so I can put an extra 200 watts of portable solar or more if I need to uh, into the van, especially in winter sun and all that sort of stuff with the angle of the sun being lower. And I can also hook up 
via my all powers portable power bank or into a campsite hookup. That is my fingers crossed off grid van <laughs> slowly get into the way that I've always wanted. But thanks for watching. Leave us a comment if you've got any ideas, tips, things and all that sort of stuff or just let me know what you think. And uh, I'll see you on the next video soon about goo mods. See you later.